Looking ahead to our first fixture of 2021, the National League always throws up a nice, tasty fixture across the festive period. Boreham would be a tough game, but one for us to look forward to in front of the BT cameras. <coughs> yeah, absolutely. Listen, Boreham would have been as solid a team as any in this division over the last three, four years. Um, you know, Luke, Luke and his staff have done a fantastic job uh, you know, at Boreham Wood. They're, they've got some super players, very, very good. Been, been together a long time. You know, there's two in the not-too-distant past, two, two playoff appearances. Obviously, last season, they, they, they lost to the eventual winners in Harrogate. Um, and they got to Wembley, I think, two or three, uh, three years ago. So, uh, and a lot of that squad are still together. You know, there's, when you look at their roster, a lot of the boys played in that that are playing now played in that first um, playoff final you know so they're a good side they're well coached well drilled well organised um, they've got good players across the board some that are better than this level for sure um, so, so you know it's, it's going to be a tough game there's no doubt about that it's, a, it's one that if you're a little bit flaky or you're in two minds about what you're about you can get badly found out so we, we aim to make sure that we get organised um, know what we're doing um, and try and get out there and give them a game because uh, you know there's a lot of good sides in this league and they're certainly one of them. With it being sort of the first home game, well your first home game as manager, it must be a bit of a tinge of sadness that we won't have the fans to yeah. watch it. Absolutely, <clears throat> I mean a lot of managers get asked this question and, uh, and you do miss them, you do miss them, I mean there'd be a good gate here, I think it's a local derby, um, so I'd imagine we'd have a few in. Um, so yeah, you do miss them, and it, it's the game, it just ain't the same without supporters, you know. We've, I've been in the game a long, long time, and even if you watch it on the telly, it, it's it ain't the same, you know. That, that atmosphere, it brings that little bit more out of the lads. There's no doubt about that. That um, you know, that could, if, if you're having a bad one, they're on you, you know, or they're behind you if you've got wind in your sails. And yeah, we do miss them, and hopefully they'll be back sooner rather than later. With it being a sort of a local derby, if you will. If we can get three points, that's a real nice foundation to try and build some momentum. And I know that's sort of been the buzzword when you talk to yourself and talk to the boys that we need to get a win and then <coughs> start picking up a few more points on the board. We need some points. We need points on the board. You know, we it's been, yeah, there's 13 games going on. Like that. That's a quarter of the season, over a quarter of the season. When you start winning some football matches and quick, you know, you can get cut adrift before you know it you know we sort of walked into this scenario at Sol Hill three years ago um, and there's a lot of similarities and uh, make no mistake that was that was one hard slog that season you know it's you need to you need to start getting points on the board and quickly and get your heads above water um, so we need to to start obviously identifying our weaknesses <laughs> and we need to start uh, you know emphasizing our strengths but we need to get some certainly some players in and we need to get some sessions in that the Covid sort of put paid to that a little bit but we're as I say we're in every day this week we'll be working hard on, on the fitness side of it and hard on the on the tactical and, and technical side of it but um, you know we need in the, in the coming days and, and weeks we need to start gelling and gelling quickly and start becoming a lot more effective than we have been because it's it's not been good enough it's been flaky our goals against record is is a joke you know is is woeful um and uh, and to be honest we haven't scored enough goals 11 and 13 and we can see 13 whatever it's 32 in, in 13 it's you know it's not good reading so we need to improve greatly in both columns and if we do that then we'll start to pick up some results um and listen sometimes a little pint of confidence in a few of the lads is you know you see you start to see different players you know, all the lads who are maybe a little bit down on their luck all of a sudden start rocking up and, and causing people problems. So, you know, we need to... Listen, the starting block for, for increasing confidence is working hard. Working hard, you get some spirit and you get some understanding within the squad. And believe me, we are going to be working hard. And I'll be moving heaven and earth with my staff to get us back on a, an even keel. Um, and hopefully it'll be sooner rather than later.